Can you hear me from up there? Hello? Hello? I decided to wait till it was day to record this. I just wanted to show off this insane project that Brayden is working on on the server. It's crazy. He's almost finished with it too. And then he'll be like putting farms and stuff in here. But I just wanted to showcase because I thought it was pretty cool. And um, it helped me with that intro. Hello. 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 All the way down there. So um, Brayden, if you see this and you watch this, then just know you get you get the reward for the hardest working minecrafter on the server because holy you're putting us to shame so welcome to the full mode vanilla minecraft server it's going to be my minecraft vanilla series because i wanted to start making videos on the minecraft and you probably can already see that i am a little bit ahead of the schedule that we normally do when the first episode comes out and that's just because i didn't want to start at the basics it, it for like i feel like I, i've done that enough recently and i wanted to um kind of skip as much i have been streaming off the server so if you caught a, a minecraft stream on the server then you you've you've seen what we've done but i kind of just want to do i want to go on and get stuff like going i've i've been i've been working a lot please leave me alone i've been working a lot on the server in terms of uh getting everything sorted so now i just kind of want to do i want to do minecraft things so today we're going to be doing something here and with those guys and there's a bunch of them and what's good is that it's in the soul sand valley if you could see that it says it right there at bios minecraft center in the screen soul sand valley and i need uh for my own whole project i swear to me and you're gonna I want to, I need a Wither Skull farm, and I thought that was the best project to start with because we're eventually going to do it, and I know, I know, very bright, you'll get used to it, it's very dark here in some places as well. Uh, I need to first do is take all of the ability for all the skeletons and the blazes and stuff, stuff to get out of here, that's what I need to do, and I'm pretty sure they can only spawn on the, they can't spawn on like soul sand. Uh, or at least a bunch of them can't. So I'm going to end up getting rid of all of that. And you're going to see a time lapse of that. And then we're going to try to fumble our way into making this weather farm. Because I've never done it before. And I want to actually try and attempt it. And not get killed by blazes. By the burp. Oh my god. So let's get right into the time lapse of that. Quick pip stop. Or pit stop? Pit stop? Pit stop. Pit stop is the correct term for that, isn't it? Quick pit stop because I got to. I need a. I need carpet. Alright, change of plan, we're we're doing it this way. I'll admit this took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take, but I'm pretty sure I have all the spawning area done outside of like obviously skeletons can spawn. I don't think there's any other places that these guys can spawn in, and hopefully there isn't because this is taking me roughly two hours to do. Uh, I didn't get all the areas 
uh, that's close by because hopefully, like, the way we're going to be doing this is that the spawn area will end up, like, canceling out all these other spawns because we're going to be down there. I might get rid of that, though. Uh, but let us make the platform that we're going to be using the spawn, and we'll do that with a quick transition. Now, I kept the it one layer, and then I also kept these because I'm going to incorporate these in the design eventually. But that is the spawn platform. It's a 20 by, by 29 uh, platform. And the center that is right there, or I mean, that is the center, but that is where the iron golem is going to go because apparently everybody hates iron golems and they want to kill it. But now I got to really think about how to do the layout because there are a few layouts that I've seen that um incorporate just like a five by five and i don't really want that because one it limits the spawns only in there and i guess it is a good idea to do when you're wanting to do nothing but get them as quickly as possible so maybe i'll try this and see what happens i'm going to have to replace the carpet the carpet's a placeholder and it's just doing its job so i need two things and both of those things are how we're going to attract the mobs I have the block of iron. I don't have a pumpkin, and I don't have a turtle egg, which I don't even know how you get a turtle egg outside of it comes from a turtle. So just like this little guy, I'm going to be alone for a bit, and I got to go figure out how to get a few things. Where do pumpkins even naturally spawn? I don't even know where turtles spawn. Hey guys, do you guys have some pumpkins? I really need some pumpkins. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Even get in some of your houses, by the way. I think someone's already been here. Probably stole all the pumpkins. Someone's definitely been here. Do pumpkins just not exist anymore? This is the longest I've went without seeing a single pumpkin. Oh, there's some right there! We found some! Spider, get away! Sorry, I need these pumpkins. Oh my god. Well, this is a surprise. I actually didn't expect to see turtles here right now. I was heading back. After finding those pumpkins, I took a break. And we get to have some turtles. So I looked online... And it turns out that you can feed them. I think it's this. If it's not this, then I'm going to feel really dumb. Hold on. How do you... How do I feed you guys? I need to feed you... The, do I have anything? Silk touch. I have iron blocks for this situation. Somewhere. Okay, that's two. Ah, there you go. Only one, but I'll take it. Thank you. Alrighty, so we have well, everything that we need. Hopefully, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say that with hopefully we have everything that we need. And what I really hope is that this guy cannot get out of here because I really need to set him up. But I need to make sure, like, he can't get out of here. And he probably can, now that I think about it. Because we need him to not get out. <laughs> I think this is the, the way you do it. 
I need you to go in there. Can you, like, get in place? Oh, no. You're not going to listen to me, are you? Okay, okay. You're in. You're in. You're in. So, we're, we're here's learning with me. Uh, we're going to... We're going to do some things and we're going to figure it out together. So I'm going to do this. And the reason I'm going to do this is to protect him from dying. Please stop. You are ruining everything in my in my life. I have to go kill him. Ow. No, 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 no! Why? How are you still alive? My carpet! Oh, I did it. Oh my goodness. So gas are going to be a huge problem for right now while we're building this thing because uh, they can do that. And I've already got fire spread off, but they don't, it doesn't, it doesn't care if it's off or not. It's still going to do what it wants to do. Uh, so we're going to want to do this. Are we? Yes. No. Yes. So he can't get killed and he could still be seen, I believe. I don't know how tracking works in this game anymore. All right, hold on. So we want this right there. That's so they can get into, into here. We're going for the most efficient. We're going for efficiency here. And um, believe it or not, I know. I, I think I know what I'm doing. Okay, so magma cubes only need a three by three area, right? So now we got to position this into it so there's no three by three areas, which shouldn't be too hard. Because I think all we have to do is go in diagonals now if we really wanted to keep this area safe. Because we would just go like this. Because they, they can't spawn here because this, I don't think. They shouldn't be able to. They could spawn here, though. Uh-oh. All right. I have gotten the uh, spawn proofing for the magma cubes. We shouldn't see any. I also revised this. We added... Uh, they could get stuck here. They shouldn't. And if they do, then I will figure out something for it here. But now they drop in uh, the two gap. They think that they can get over. They should be able to see because all you really need is heads. And this is... Um, they should be able to see that. I want to get the killing chamber in, which I'm going to work off camera because I don't, or I, I guess not, but I have to get a lot of materials for it because I want to use, um, the button and piston technique because we are going to be dealing with, uh, blazes. So I need to be able to make sure I can navigate them into the center. So that shouldn't be too hard. And I need to get a bunch of glass because this section back right here is going to be glassed off. I'm, I'm going to do something with this build to make it look pretty. So, yeah, uh, back to work. I'm all over the place. I understand that. I, I understand that this video is all over the place. So I've done the killing chamber and I did this off camera because this took me so long to figure out how to get going. So now we need to 
Now we have another problem. That problem is, is that I don't know how to make it so that he isn't going to die. Nah. Let's test this. Let's see what happens. Um, What's the odds that a skeleton spawn in here if it's being overrided by every other mob? Pretty high, but I mean, shouldn't it be high enough to where he dies? Pikmin aren't seeing the egg does pigments not go for eggs i could have sworn that was something that piglins did all right let's reset the um let's reset this and then see what happens then. maybe it's because i had the chunks load and messed up the spawning maybe we're a little bit too close maybe that's the problem i have no idea Um, so far, blazes are the problem. I'm not really seeing any wither skeletons. Blazers are definitely the problem right now. So, is there a way to. Would we need to. We might need to get wither roses. Okay, so the problem that I've come across is that spawn rates are a little bit too slow, and that maybe is because I haven't spawn-proofed everything that there could be spawn-proofed. But the way around that is potentially just getting wither roses and then putting buttons all over the place, at least in a few chunk radius of the, uh, the farm. But I have run out of time for this video. So, yep, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out a lot, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye, guys.